This segment of the news is brought to you by Sun Oil Limited. Welcome back. Progressive Liberal Party Deputy Leader and Shadow Minister of Finance Chester Cooper says that the country is in a trifold crisis, health, economic and leadership. Mr. Cooper making these remarks during his contribution to the debate to extend the emergency powers orders to the end of next month. But this trifold crisis is, is no, no laughing matter, Mr. Speaker. And it is important that we continue with energy and enthusiasm to continue to fight these crises in this country, Mr. Speaker, is my view. Mr. Cooper adds that the government boasts about making tough decisions, but he mandates them to make the right decision during this time. So, Mr. Speaker, on our leaders to continue to be proactive and innovative. Today we find that the large majority of our cabinet isn't present. I believe our leader referred to this as an administrative crisis. And we must continue to plan proactively to manage through, crisis, through the COVID crisis. The deputy leader says if Bahamians choose to ignore any of these crises, then it exasperates all crises. A state of emergency was declared back in March due to the COVID-19 pandemic making its way to the country's shores, and since then it has been extended numerous times. Well, Bahamas Christian Council President Bishop Delton Fernander says along with extension of the emergency powers orders, there needs to be a campaign of enforcement as it relates to the COVID-19 protocols. He says this much during an interview with JCN News. We hope Ambassador Forge and allow for more people to be engaged through employment, to go out and help and, and spread the use of masks and sometimes give away masks in our community like the police are doing. So we do not believe just extending it is the answer when we see the numbers are going, we have to be more in place in our communities, in our workplaces, in our companies, so that we can make a reasonable change rather than just uh, on paper and in Parliament extending the order. When asked if he feels that the government is rushing to get the country up and running, considering that there are rising numbers of COVID-19 cases, Bishop Fernandez says that he understands that the government has to get the economy up and running, particularly as in a week's time, the country is expected to relax the COVID-19 travel restrictions. The focus to be on the people more than the tourism at some times, but I understand the balance that government would have. And so in my personal view, I think we've got to get a handle on our numbers before we open up to the world. Uh, and a greater effort should be made in terms of uh, getting the message, what I would call on the ground, rather than a date to open up to the world. Shifting gears in crime news, police seeking the public's assistance in locating a missing teen girl and returning her safely to her home. 15-year-old Shondia Cunningham was last seen at her residence on Kwaku Street on October 23rd at around 8.30 a.m. Police describing young Cunningham as dark brown in complexion, slim built and standing 5 feet 3 inches in height. Anyone knowing the whereabouts of Shondia Cunningham is asked to contact the Criminal Investigation Division at 5 Two nine 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 one or 2 or download the P3 Tips app to send information anonymously. The Public Hospitals Authority PHA and the Princess Margaret Hospital PMH grieving the loss of one of its frontline workers in the fight against COVID-19. Staff nurse Jacquette Johnson, who passed away on Friday, was receiving care in the hospital's intensive care unit. In a statement from the PHA, it says Nurse Johnson was deployed to PMH's emergency department, where she served for 20 years during her tenure. She touched the lives of countless patients and many of her colleagues. The the PHA says she will be deeply missed by friends and colleagues throughout PHA. The board of directors, senior executives and all staff of the authority joins the Princess Margaret Hospital family in extending condolences to the family, friends and colleagues of Nurse Johnson. You're watching JCN News. Stay with us. This segment of the news has been brought to you by Sun Oil Limited.